Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let us sign ourselves in the name of the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we begin, let us pray for my friend Walter, who just passed yesterday. God of wisdom and love, source of all good, send your spirit to teach us your truth and guide our actions in your way of peace. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Gospel is taken from St. Matthew, chapter 5, verse 27 to 32. This Gospel is concerning adultery and concerning divorce. Jesus rereads the commandment in the previous verse, do not kill. And now he says, we shall not commit adultery. Jesus rereads the law, starting from the intention that God had, which was proclaimed centuries before on Mount Sinai. He seeks the spirit of the law and does not limit himself to the letter. He takes up again and defends the great values of human life, which consist of backgrounds of each one of the Ten Commandments. Jesus looked closely at the man-woman relationship and marriage, a fundamental basis of human living. Together, there was a commandment which said, to not commit adultery, and another one which said, anyone who divorces his wife has to give her a certificate of divorce. Jesus takes up again both commandments, giving them a new meaning. In verse 27 to 28 he says, Do not commit adultery. What does this commandment require from us? The ancient response was a man cannot sleep with someone else's wife. This was demanded by the letter of the commandment. But Jesus goes beyond surpasses the letter which and says but I say to you if a man looks at a woman lustfully he has already committed adultery with her in his heart the objective of the commandment is reciprocal fidelity between man and woman alive together as a married couple this fidelity will be complete only if both know how to be faithful to one another in thought and in, de and in desire and have a total transparency between them. Verse 29.30 says, Tear out your eye and cut your, your hand. To illustrate what Jesus has just said, he, st he states a hard word. He speaks of the scandal to the little ones in Matthew chapter 18 verse 9 and in Mark chapter 9 verse 47. He says that if your right eye should be your downfall, tear it out and throw it away for it will do you less harm to lose one part of yourself than to have your whole body thrown into hell. It means that it something in your life is causing you to sin, get rid of it. There are many things which might drive or tempt us to say or to consider sin. It may be the internet, a television show, money, anything else. These things exposes us to consider sinning perhaps and if so, are best removed from our lips or in our life. In order to be perfect as the Heavenly Father is perfect. Matthew 5 verse 48 To reface Jesus' advice in today's language, if the TV causes you to sin or tempt you to sin or teach you how to sin, tear the TV off or turn it off. The question of divorce, the man was permitted to give a certificate of divorce to the woman. In the discourse of the community, Jesus will say that Moses permitted this because the people were hard-hearted. 
Matthew chapter 19 verse 8 being itself on the affirmative of sins the eastern church permits divorce in course of fornications that is infidelity what is important is to see the objective and the general source of the affirmation of Jesus he speaks about an idol which should always be before us to be perfect as the heavenly father is perfect let us close our eyes and pray Lord Jesus help us to undefy the negative distractions in our lives that can make us lose the kingdom of God help us to shun them and give us the strength to avoid falling into their tempting invitations Jesus we love you amen father son